So let's look at some of the joints of the ankle complex. And as typical, there's not just one joint, so let's roll through them. So we have the tibiofibular joint. So that's between the tibia and the fibula. So uh, the fibula is always on the lateral side, the tibia is on the medial side, and then you have something called the inner osseous membrane, and that keeps this joint together along with some really strong ligaments proximally and distally. All right, so it's a syndomosis joint, an amphiarthroidal joint. Um, again, it's joined at the proximal and distal portions by very uh, dense, uh, the inner osseous membrane and ligaments. It has minimal mobility, right? You don't want these to be separated. Sometimes it becomes separated and it's usually down here at the distal end. Um, where the anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament, which goes right across here, is separated. And that's what they call a high ankle sprain. So you'll hear that when you're listening to sports on TV sometimes. Um, and so that can be, you know, not a great injury to have. The next joint is the talocruel joint. And this is typically called the ankle joint. And this is between the talus and the tibia and fibula. And remember the um, tibia and fibula, the tibia has the medial malleolus and the fibula has the lateral malleolus and they form the top of the joint and then the talus is on the bottom. It's a uniaxial, so a hinge joint. It's very similar to your elbow joint. Um, the and as I said, the proximal bones are the tibia and fibula, and the distal bone is the talus. And the motion at this joint is dorsiflexion, pulling your toes up, and plantar flexion, pointing your toes down. Underneath the ankle joint, we have the subtalar joint. And so again, uh, sometimes anatomy can be very straightforward. Subtalar means below the talus. So it's this joint right below the talus. Um, the proximal bone is the talus, the distal bone is the calcaneus, and the motion here is inversion and eversion. Inversion is when the soles of your feet are pointed together. Eversion is similar, to, is abduction, is when the sole of your foot is pointing laterally or away from the midline. Then you have your transverse tarsal joint. And that is basically going across the tarsals. So like cutting off the front part of your foot. Um, and it's between the talonavicular and the calcaneocuboid sections. And it, that just, this joint allows your, the, your forefoot or the front part of your foot and the rear foot to move independently. 